it may not be a myth after all. Farm animals may be key to forecasting earthquakes. Exhibit strange behavior up to two, uh, up to 20 hours before the quake hits. We know that, well, recently we've seen snakes crawling up from the ground, uh, up uh, onto the wall of houses and onto the roofs. Days before, not 20 hours, but two or three days before a major earthquake. Now, a study find uh, from Radovsel, Germany, the Sun WND, according to anecdotal accounts, farm animals and pets have often behaved abnormally in the hours leading up to earthquakes, but these findings have not been supported by scientific evidence, at least not until now. A new study by German scientists provides scientific evidence to support claims of odd animal behavior prior to earthquakes, and the research suggests many animals uh, indeed have uh, provide valuable clues to when and where the earthquakes will occur. In the study, researchers attach movement tracking devices to farm animals in an earthquake-prone area of northern Italy, and these tracking devices, known as accelerometers, were attached to the collars of six cows, five sheep, and two dogs. All of the animals had been previously observed acting abnormally before earthquakes. Now, researchers chose to look at only the quakes that triggered statistically significant earth movements on the farm. Epicenters of the quakes ranged in distance from the farm. Some were very close, others were up to 17 and a half miles away, 28 kilometers away. Statistical models based on financial econometrics were used to analyze the data recorded from the accelerometers body acceleration data, that is. By using this data, the marking uh, periods of unusual activity using statistical criteria, research were able to objectively define what constituted as odd animal behavior. Well, one thing we uh, I just now thought of is, remember what happened in the Yellowstone a couple of years back when the buffalo were seen charging out of the area, and a lot of people felt that that was because they were feeling earthquakes coming. But they do have, of course, odd behavior. Now, they said here, because every animal reacts differently in size, speed, and according to species, the animal data resembled data on heterogeneous financial investors. Um, this was uh, what co-author Winifred Palmier uh, in a media release said. And uh, Palmier is a professor at Econometrics at University of Constance, principal investigator at the Center for Advanced study of collective behavior. Usually, animal activity patterns were indeed recorded among the farm animals up to 20 hours before earthquakes occurred. Further, the strange behaviors depended on how close the animals were to the epicenter of the earthquake, of course. The closer the animals were to the epicenter of the impending shock, the earlier they changed their behavior. It's exactly what you would expect when physical changes occur more frequently at the epicenter of the impending earthquake and become weaker with increasing distance. This is what Martin Wachowski, director of the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior said. He's also the principal investigator of the Center for Advanced Study of Collective Behavior. So interestingly, this effect was apparent only when the researchers looked at all the animals, not just individual ones. Collectively, the animals seem to show abilities that are not so easily recognized on an individual level, he said. It's still unclear. What triggers unusual behavior in animals before earthquake strikes? One possibility is that animals are able to sense air ionization caused by large changes in rock pressure in their, uh, with their fur. Alternatively, animals may be able to smell gases released from quartz crystals prior to the earthquake. And regarding uh, of how animals can sense impending earthquakes, the findings are promising for future predictions. In December 2019, researchers tested predictive uh, abilities of animal accelerometer data and were indeed able to predict an earthquake before the method can be used to reliably predict earthquakes. So researchers need to record data from more animals over longer periods of time in different areas around the world. And to do this, researchers want to use the Global Animal Observation System, known as ICARUS. ICARUS is a joint project funded by and carried out by German Aerospace Center DLR and the Russian Space Agency Roscosmos and is supported by the European Space Agency ESA. The study is published in Ethnology and I'll leave a link below for you on WND.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.